A common flat earth trope is that the moon can't be what scientists say it is because we always see the same face of the moon due to the period of the axial rotation and the orbital period being equal. According to them, the chance of this is infinitesimal and therefore the moon isn't what we say it is. What happens is actually something called tidal locking. So here we have the Earth and the Moon orbiting the Earth. I've marked a red spot on the Moon for reference. The gravitational attraction is causing a tidal bulge. The objects are stretched a little bit along the imaginary line connecting the two objects, which results in prolate spheroids. But when we have the Moon's orbital period different to its rotational period, this gets messed up a bit. It takes time for this stretching and relaxing to happen, so there's a slight lag and the long axis of the prolate spheroid is not quite aligned with the line connecting the two objects. This results in a torque on the moon which opposes the rotation and therefore its rotation slows down. When the rotation period is equal to the orbital period, the long axis is always collinear with the line connecting the two orbiting bodies and therefore there is no longer a torque on the satellite. There is an important implication here, and that is that all satellites will eventually become tidally locked, even the Earth. Eventually it will become tidally locked to the Sun, and only one side of the Earth will see it. This means that one side will get pretty toasty, and the other side will freeze over. At least this is all if we ignore the fact that the Sun will have gobbled up the Earth billions of years before that. So what are the chances that the Moon's orbital period is the same as its rotational period? Well, it turns out that it is inevitable.